From the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's San Antonio taking on Boston. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Tom now at the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. Matsui under this one. And that'll do it. On to the bottom of the first. No score. And a board. Michael Rosales getting ready to hit. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Go to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back to work. 3-2 now. And down on strikes. One down. Here comes a 3-2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs. Swung on, popped up left side. Ciccone has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bounced up the middle. That's a hit. Throw into third. The tag out. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner and score a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. It's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Lifted in the air, right center field. Has some trouble with it. Left field. Halpern settles under this one and makes the play, and that's out number three. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Oh, Wade Halpern. He's 0 for 1. That one hammered center field. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. And he's there at third with a triple. All over that one right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And that is that. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Good feed, that's one. On to first, double play. The catcher number five, Mason. Out towards right center field, Simon sizes this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Sixth inning coming up, still nothing on the scoreboard. Trujillo back to work. Rolled over to third. Pace hit. And the leadoff man aboard. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Run, run, 
Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. And that's a stolen base, not even close. You know, nights like this, when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. The 2-1. Hit hard, base hit. Brown, around third. Play at the plate, not in time, he's safe. And it's 1-0. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get into scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. The 2-1. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Back-to-back -back singles. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Got to love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Righty to the plate. Squares and gets it down the left side. In plenty of time to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner at third. You can't risk trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Best to hang on to this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. First base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And a pitch. On the ground, a second, might be two. Dives, and he can't hang on. No throw, he's safe at first. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Runners at first and second. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. And he'll be safe at first. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. At the play, Richie Irizarry. Laser, base hit. Bangs off the wall. One runs in. Another comes in to score. Now a relay to the plate. The tag. And he's out. That ends the inning, but two runs do score. We head to the seventh now in game two. We are tied 2-2. Two. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And the right-hander deals. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. On the warning track. And holds it in. Now a throw to first and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. Seventh inning stretch time. We are tied 2-2. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. It's a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. In the air to left center. Matsui moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that ends the inning. pitch up the middle and that's a base hit so the go-ahead run is on base with a knock well that was an important at bat in this game the game you cannot issue free passes he's going to have to challenge this hitter hitter's got to be ready to swing it 
Now fly ball to right center. Morrison on the move into the alley. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground at first. And it gets by him. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Hard hit, left side. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. 1-1. Kicks and deals. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And there's no throw. He's in there at second with a stolen base. In position, nobody out. And he lays one down the left side. Ciccone. Off balance throw. In time. Now one gone in the ninth. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Popped in the air, left field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 3-2. Well, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good strike. In the air, third base side of the mound. Ciccone makes the catch, and that'll do it. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The defenders out front here, three to two. The tying run at the plate. And that one ripped into right. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it. Double or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Right side, sneaks through, base hit. Will comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So now an opportunity to do that. Here's the second baseman, Bobby Carew. Puts a bunt down. Save! He beats it as the tying run scores. As a run scores. Well, that wasn't a suicide squeeze, meaning the runner from third wasn't running towards home on the pit, but he did a great job of reading the ball, going down off the bat, and that allowed him to hustle home. And a sack bunt here. Rouch. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Well, he's just given himself up to move two runners into scoring position right there, but somehow the defense can't get it out anywhere, and this is quickly turning into a golden opportunity for this offense. Perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up or something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Ground ball left side could be two. They get the tag on him. Throw to first, but he beat it. 
and crosses the winning run, and they walk it off in game two. Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.